There's something magical about getting a new effects pedal, or a new module, or even a new plugin. When you first download it, or take it out of its box for the first time, you just have this feeling that it's going to take you on this new journey of exploration, or inspire you to finally finish that track that's been patiently waiting inside your DAW. And when a manufacturer like Fairfield Circuitry, who has made so many great pedals in the past, sends you something new that they've just cooked up, you know that it's going to be an absolute thing of beauty. Yes, if you've ever wondered what your synthesizer might sound like in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, this is the pedal for you. Now, if you're a noise artist or you lean a bit more avant-garde and you're looking for experimental textures or you're doing a horror score or something suspenseful, this is an immediate go-to, I think. Occasionally, I do that kind of work, but for the most part, my music tends to be a bit more melodic. And for me, I had a bit of a tough time, if I'm honest, finding sweet spots that were usable. And I think I'll just show you what I mean by that before I get into explaining how I have everything set up here. So let's see what this pedal sounds like on its own. I'm actually gonna take this out. Now this pedal, I don't know exactly what it's doing because I don't know anything about circuitry, but it's really meant to emulate FM radio signal loss and create all sorts of weird distortion and artifacts. We have a wet dry. In this case, I am running the output of my matriarch into the pedal, and then I am running the pedal back into the Moog matriarch because for me, I want to use this pedal to create a little bit of instability. If you know anything about my music, you know I like melodic stuff, more ambient stuff, but that's a little bit rough around the edges, has a little bit of texture to it, and uh, some imperfections. And this pedal seemed perfect, takes a lot of taming to do that, but you definitely can get there with something uh, like the Matriarch's filters and delay. So let's crank it up and just sweep through some things. It's going to get really gnarly, really fast. It's really hard when you find a sweet spot to recreate it. So. I might be tempted to sample a bunch of artifacts and sounds from this pedal and then be able to use that as like a bed or something. I think it's really great for that kind of random artifact stuff that you can run through other effects. So one thing, <laughs> you see what I mean. One thing I was a little confused by with the pedal at first when I first hooked it up is this tune knob. I was thinking I could just dial it in and find a sweet spot. And the reality is you really need to get this knob moving. And you can hear all of those artifacts. It never does the same thing exactly twice. You find all of these different spots within the spectrum that pop out. Another thing I noticed after reading the manual is that you can limit the frequency range. It applies a little bit of a bandpass filter to bring out the mids, shave off some of the lows and the highs, because when we have this thing in full range, I really found that a lot of the low frequency content was just making it unusable for more melodic things that I wanted to use it for. So you could shave that off in post, of course, or you can limit the frequency range of the pedal 
by flipping the switch uh, from zero to one. Let's listen to it full range and you'll see what I mean. We also have a shift, which is some kind of EQ tilt. You can hear that swishing back and forth. And a drive, which we can overdrive, uh, I believe, just a dry signal as well as the wet signal. This switch limits the range of the tune knob. So you can have less drastic clicks and pops, but honestly, I found that a little bit less interesting than going to the more extreme range and then limiting the frequencies. So all of these knobs kind of work in relation to each other. And that's what made it a little tough for me at first when I first switched it on to find the sweet spots I was looking for. But again, as I said, it's a pretty wily pedal. So if you're into noise, if you're into experimental music, look no further. It's going to be great for that. It's great in a chain of effects. If you have a guitar pedal rig, um, you could filter it, EQ it, uh, put delay on either side of it, do all kinds of crazy things. I am a synth guy, so I have used the Moog Matriarch to be my filters, to be my delay in this case. So not only is the Roger That affecting the output of the Matriarch, it's coming back into the Matriarch's mixer, and then the Matriarch is affecting it, which allows us to get this into this delay, and that is where the magic really starts to happen. I think you'll see. Oh, another thing I almost forgot to bring up again, I mentioned that it's really the most interesting when we get this tune knob moving, right? We can do that with CV. And it just so happens the Moog Matriarch can spit out an LFO, which I have set up here. And I just have that sent to a mult and an attenuator. So I can actually, you know what? I'm gonna go from this attenuator here, it's closer by. And I'm gonna go into, so now the Matriarch is wiggling this knob for us, right? And I can, with this attenuator, affect the amount. So let's see what that sounds like with the delay. notice what's just happened. The Matriarch's delay, when it's in sync mode, it's a BBD analog delay. So you can actually hear the clock and the bit reduction when you slow it down to extremely slow values when we're in sync. That's what's happening now. It's creating that kind of vowel-y effect. <laughs> That's actually pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. I may become a noise artist after this. Now I want to use it alongside the Matriarch to create some more crunchy textures with some paraphonic pads. If you want to see a free workshop that I do with the Moog Matriarch that takes you through the basics of subtractive synthesis, a little bit into the concepts of modular, semi-modular synthesis, uh, that's gonna be the first link in the description. Absolutely free, 20 minute walkthrough of the basics so that you can start making these kinds of patches on your own and understand kind of what I'm talking about and doing here, maybe if it's a bit confusing. I have the Matriarch's filters set up in series, which gives us basically a band pass. We have a high pass filter and a low pass filter. And that is going to allow me to shape this into a much more usable fashion while playing it alongside some paraphonic pads on the Matriarch. I'm gonna take us out of drone mode in the Matriarch so that the VCA is controlling the amplitude. And I'm gonna filter that down just a bit. And I'm also going to bring up the offset of the high pass filter, which is what the spacing knob does here. 
Now when I move the main cutoff knob on the Matriarch in series mode, I basically have a bandpass filter that is just sweeping through the frequency spectrum. Give it a little bit of resonance. Let's bring this guy back in. You're not gonna hear anything because I haven't fired off the envelope. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna get an ARP going just so that I can twiddle some knobs here. Now that we have that more limited frequency spectrum, thanks to this bandpass filter, it's a bit more usable, right? What if that were run through this wonderful, wonderful delay? That's pretty nice. One thing I could see this being really handy for is running it through some sort of percussion, like maybe a drum machine or something to give it some squelchy, weird artifacts, uh, maybe in parallel mode, you know, with uh, mostly dry signal, but a little bit of wet signal and maybe running that through a filter or something. That could be really interesting. But one more thing I wanna to do today is some stereo sweeping back and forth. And I'm gonna send the filter into stereo mode uh, this provides an offset between the two frequency peaks so we can send them wider apart or closer together. And then when I sweep through, because we have two peaks, uh, it's going to give kind of a stereo imaging effect. <laughs>
So that's that. That's the Roger that. And it's a really weird pedal, but it can be really cool if you use a few more tools to kind of shape it. Or if you just love avant-garde noise, you can just sit there and twiddle the tune knob to your heart's delight. If you got anything out of the video, you can hit like, that will help me out tremendously, and subscribe if you want to see more videos about synthesizers and weird effects. See you next time.